All right. Uh, so if we start with, um, I guess, Asha, where were you when you first heard about the news? How did you hear about it? Uh, where was I? I was in sunny, well, I am still in sunny Texas at this present moment. And I think it was at the track or one morning sometime when we all found out. But it was like, oh, okay. Now we finally get clarity. It makes us feel that one piece better, but it doesn't feel like it's, well, for us as track and field, they still haven't, they haven't like given us a, definite for our season like are we still going to have a few races at the end of the season or is it just the whole year's finished like with other sports they've like cancelled everything for the whole entire year whereas ours hasn't and like the whole we have also have european championships which is held at the end of august but the whole of europe right now can't even train so it's you know we're kind of still in a sticky one so yes it's or a good confirmation that we have moved it to 2021, but it also still doesn't, what has the dominant effect on the other things that we saw. And I guess, is that like the, the stressful part or the, the frustrating part, the uncertainty? Yeah, it was that like, it was horrible because obviously everyone kept talking about it's Olympics going to be um, cancelled, it's going to be postponed, and the word cancelled would have hurt, I think, a lot of people. So I'm really grateful that they postponed it because. Um, yeah, nobody had time for that, I'm not going to lie. So, <laughs> I'm just grateful that they um, suspended it to 2021. But then obviously next year is going to be worse because it's going to have... We already have our world indoors that have been transferred over to 2021. That's going to be after the world European indoors. And then we're going to have a world championship. So there's this and we're going to have that. And I'm sure that's going to happen in a number of sports. So it's going to be a packed year, even though it'll be fun and exciting. But I just feel like it'll be a lot for us all to handle. So I'm hoping that they find a way to iron it all out because to cancel Olympics is probably the worst thing for everyone. I say the whole world because it brings everyone together. It's such a big, massive event where the world is actually um, at, well, at peace, at one. I just put the same to words. They're just a whole. And so, yeah, so I'm really grateful they postponed it. Then it makes me feel that 1% better as well. Maybe I wasn't just 1%. Ready. Yeah, I just need some more time. <laughs> That's so good. I, I think... Um, I had no idea it was such like, I guess that the schedules and the seasons are so carefully orchestrated that there's the Olympics and the Worlds and the Euros and the indoor and whatever else. So it's, are you saying that if sort of one domino falls out of line or one thing doesn't line up perfectly, it has this huge knock on effect? Yeah, it's horrible because every other year you have an indoors or a world indoors, a European outdoors. And then same for world outdoors, um, European um, outdoors. So now next year, I don't know what they're going to do. But my body can only do so much, so <laughs> they put something. I'm assuming they're gonna like have what are we gonna do? We're gonna have we have a, well they've said they put the Europe the world indoors two weeks after the Europeans. I don't know if they're gonna still have a world outdoor. So then it might just be a really packed couple of years. It's gonna be Olympics, world champs, world champs, and then that Olympics. So I don't know. This world has gone crazy. I'm just taking every day as it comes. I'm not even going to try to plan till next week. I'm just trying to plan for tomorrow. <laughs> That's all I can do. So me trying to get on this plane home and get there safe, corona-free. Um, <laughs> that's be my plan. Is that the same for you, Molly? Is it a bit of a, we don't know what's coming next, so we have to take it day to day? Or? Yeah, it's the uncertainty kills me. And I felt really uncomfortable for a few weeks and I, I couldn't really understand why apart from the fact that we were in a pandemic and my coach told me like hey athletes are really good at switching on and off and this whole middle ground thing was like really unsettling for me and even a few weeks ago I was supposed to have my last Olympic qualification um, last week I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to be in Moscow right now and it was really strange about two weeks ago because I was still training for it because it hadn't officially been cancelled or postponed. But there was news of China and then Italy and like half of Europe was starting to go into lockdown. And I was like, do I still need to train? Is there still going to be Olympic qualification? And that whole like, you know, still doing it, but not really sure if I'm actually going to go to Moscow or not was really weird for me. And I think two or three days before my flight, um, yeah, everything was postponed and sporting events stopped happening really so it's just it's just weird like knowing what to do right now because who knows what the situation is like tomorrow in a week two weeks and then in a month's time and half of the season is gone already and 
we're not sure when things start. I mean, I'm supposed to start half of my season in July, so we'll see how that goes. So right now it's kind of like, I've decided I'm going to keep training because I think that's the best thing for me mentally to just carry on like as close to normal as possible. But I'm mainly trying to do things that I enjoy because I don't want to, I mean, it's not going to be a waste of time because exercise is always good, but I want to enjoy it. So I feel like motivated for it and not like it's been a waste of time if I don't get to compete this year. Yeah. So I guess, how did it feel when you initially, I guess the hammer dropped? What were the first emotions and reactions you guys had to the head to spell? I think relief, personally, because it was some sort of, yeah, like Asha said, clarity in this situation. There's so many unknowns at the moment and just, you know, things being postponed or cancelled, like at least you know then. Um, I was like, obviously gutted about the Olympics and I know how it, you don't just, plan for that for like a year people have been planning for olympics for four years now and training for it and it's pretty heartbreaking for it to be moved but i think it's the right decision because at the end of the day health comes first and sport is amazing and it brings people together um and it's like people's jobs but it is kind of entertainment as well and yeah we should focus on health before anything else to be fair it was like well, firstly i was sitting in the sun thinking <laughs> Is this our life right now? <laughs> is this what the world's come to? They've now cancelled the Olympics. I said, poor Japan, because everyone keeps talking about the fact that they had their last one cancelled because of the war. And then now they've got corona. <laughs> I feel so sorry for them, number one. I had so many things planned to go. You know me, I get, you know, excited with big cities and what fun things we can do there. Even though we had our world relays there, I had to get, we had a like, great taste of what. Olympics is going to be so like I've been to Tokyo thinking okay I'm going to be here and then now Miss Corona decided to just mess it up for everybody we're going to thank her for like not exactly cancelling it but it was like the actual shock of this like okay ugh, like we've been training all this year for nothing it's like it's not for nothing because you still learn a lot about yourself you always learn it each year and I thought like for me personally I've probably been one of the best shapes I've been in a long time so to know that it's in campus, okay, that's very frustrating. Now I'm never going to know um, what, well, what I could have done. It's only like a big if or what or maybe. But I just feel like maybe it was just a blessing for everybody. And I feel like obviously everyone's health is more important. And you don't want an Olympics where half the countries turn up. You want to be able to compete against the best. You don't want to be like the only ones there because it just wouldn't feel right to you. Well, for me personally, that's how I would feel if it if I was an athlete and no one was there, I'd be like, okay, you just want because so and so wasn't there. Like, I, you never want that. But how I feel about it now is just, mm, okay, now I'm going to go home, be in quarantine. You know, I just thought it's probably the best time to spend time with your family, enjoy the people, enjoy your friends, live a bit of the four walls that you have in your house and just, you know, move when we carry on. That's what you said. There's nothing else you can do. I feel like it's just it's just time to relax, to be honest, and just say, you know, let's just start this again. And probably a good time to just pick up on the points where I feel like I may have messed up and just reevaluate the year so far. And hopefully, you know, get a second chance at it. So maybe it might even help. <clears throat> there's loads of stuff floating around about now is that there's a, you can't control what you can't control, but you can control how you deal with it or what you're going to do in answer to it. I guess the question to you guys is, what are the things you can do still and how are you going to do that? I guess, Asha, you don't have like a hundred metre house that you can sprint up and down. And I guess, Molly, you don't have any walls you can climb in your home. So I'm sure you could. Are there things that you can do right now that are going to help? I mean, I've seen people climbing on the kitchen counters, like, like making a climb through their house. So there's no limits for climbers. But luckily, um, there's a type of quite a lot of training you can do off the climbing wall is really beneficial for when you're climbing. So to train finger strength, we hang off rungs of wood. And so everyone's pretty much, every climber in the world is pretty much just hanging off a piece of wood right now, all day, 24 seven. Um, so it's, it's quite useful and I, you can stay recruited and you won't come out weaker on the other side, basically. So I think I'm quite lucky. I don't need the trap to go run or you know, I don't really need to have a bike or anything to stay fit. I can just hang off a piece of wood, really, um, amongst other things. So it's quite I'm easy. I'm just going to open my front door and run on the street. But then again, like, 
is painful after a while. My Achilles do not like change. So if I'm going from a nice track to concrete, they're not going to agree with that. And obviously I don't have a personal physio at home, which is a shame. So I feel like, I don't know. I mean, probably off the record, people have been drunk. <laughs> They've been jumping tracks anyway, so I think there'll be a, a track I can jump over a fence for. So you're probably okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not backing that. <laughs> no one needs to know. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. I think people would love to see that Asha, Asha Phillips sprinting down their street in the middle of quarantine. I think that'd be something <laughs> people would really like. And I live right by a police station, so then they'll probably come out and say, oh, Asha, and we'll say, excuse me, lady, miss, you, can you get back in the house? We're like, uh, catch me first. And I could just run home and have <laughs> That's why they don't have a car. <laughs> that was one. You've seen all those memes going around about like uh, getting caught for going for your second job at jug of the day and stuff like that. Oh yeah, That's so yeah. funny. Man. So good. So I mean, Instagram has never been more alive than right now. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean. <laughs> TikTok, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible thing that's happened <laughs> to the world, but it's great for TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Like, it sounds like no, but is it going to be difficult for you guys to stay motivated during the uncertain times ahead? Um, personally, I don't think so, because I need to exercise, one, for my mental health, and two, because i got nothing else to do, in all honesty. Like, I climb full time, so if I don't stay motivated and exercise, I'll feel even worse. So for me, I don't think it's too bad. Um, and with rock climbing, you can climb competitively inside, but you can also rock climb. And that's slightly more recreational for me personally. I have big goals for rock climbing, but I guess that's not what I'm judged on in a competition and I don't win medals for that. So any gains I make right now will benefit me in the long run. And as soon as I can get out on rock in isolated places, I can can go and put all that training to use. So for me, there's tons of motivation right now. I'm glad you're in that place right now. <laughs> <laughs> I keep mo- telling myself that. I reckon in a week's time, I'll just crack and be like, nah, nah. <laughs> I know. I think if I stay here, I think I'll be fine because the sun's out and I can actually train and step outside. As soon as I go to UK, I don't know what is going on there. So everyone's like, oh, you have to stay inside, you have to do this. I don't know what that means. I mean, I've been living my best on It was like 28 degrees, guys. And you want me to leave that to go inside and do nothing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I don't know where my head is at when it comes to all that kind of stuff, honestly. I just feel like I have to go home and assess the situation because I've been in this bubble. I don't know what it is to go like, what it's I think, like though, like another important point is that some days people won't feel motivated and that's all right. Like, it's super weird right now. Everyone's stuck at home. And yeah, I have a list of things to do and I have training, but maybe some days I just wake up and I'm like, nah, not today. And I think it's important for everyone to be aware of, you know, whether it's really worth it for them to push through. Like, do you really need to push through right now? So I think that's important as well to, you know, keep in touch with your mental well-being and mindset and make sure you're making the right decisions for that too. Like I say, the Olympics is, is dramatically affected, but everybody's affected by this. It's this crazy global pandemic. Is there anything you guys would want to sort of share about your experience or just a message you want to share in these sort of unprecedented times? I just feel like my main message is that you need to just take a deep breath. You need to relax because I don't think when people's minds are always like frazzled, they never make the best decisions. And they need to understand that this is out of their hands. It's out of their control. Everyone's in the same situation. So take time to just focus on yourself and work on... Um, what well, I would say my weaknesses in the sport and I think throughout the how many what, six, seven months I've been training now um, it's more about what worked and what didn't because I felt like I had such a great season this year um, not even well I did a few indoor meets and I would that was like a spur of the moment thing and to run what I did I think I was grateful for so it's like okay if I can do that for that then I'm sure if I did a, B, and C elsewhere, I'll be fine. So it's like literally just working on yourself, working on your own craft, and in, still enjoy the sports. I feel like people will still like fall out of love with all the stress that goes on throughout it. But it's more about channeling like the good energy, the good spirits, because you can lose them easily, and you obviously don't want that. You, there is still a goal and people need to remember that. 
it hasn't been cancelled, it's just been postponed. It's just another challenge, or not even a new challenge, it's a new avenue, a new walk of path or path to walk down. I feel like you'll be still be strong enough to do it. It's just how you handle it. And before you dive in, make sure you've written all your notes and you follow them. Basically. Wise words. <laughs> I feel like for me, I would just say take it day by day, like Asha said. You can't really plan when things are changing so like frequently and quickly. So it's just important to take it day by day, make sure you prioritize your mental health and being active, exercising, because we all know that makes us feel way better. And yeah, like Ash said as well, the goal is still there. It hasn't, the dream is not over. There will still be an Olympics. Um, things will slowly go back to normal. So, you know, this isn't gonna last forever and just try and stay as positive about it as possible. And I reckon when we're out of this, most people would love to be stuck at home for a few weeks. <laughs> be like, oh, remember that time when we didn't have to leave the house and I could sit on the sofa all day? So I think, you know, just try and make the best of what's going on right now um, before life goes back to normal. Yeah, a little bit of perspective. I think once everybody's finished and yeah, they've been out to the beer gardens and stuff, they're like, oh yeah, forget all this. Get over it again. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. Thanks so much for sparing the time and talking about this. I realised it might must be like so much to process for you guys in the interim. So I really do appreciate you taking the time to talk us through it. And like I say, it's super motivating to hear you guys talk about what you just said, how the dates might change, but the goal doesn't. And I think, uh, yeah, it gets me excited just hearing you guys talk about it. To be honest, it's really, really cool.